Hey, it's James Sanford from America, Cowboy Country. So glad you are here. Uh, this is the results of week one. Um, obviously, most of these were blowouts. Uh, I'm going to put the thing uh, Barstool Big 12 Sports, or Big 12 Barstool, put this uh, graphic up on uh, Twitter or X or whatever you want to call it. Uh, Utah beat Southern Utah 49 nothing. Kansas beat Lindenwood 48-3. UCF beat New Hampshire 57-3. Uh, Colorado obviously had a much tougher game against North Dakota State. They won 31-26. TCU beat Stanford 34-27. Oak State beat South Dakota State 44-20. Um, one of the games I was wrong on was Penn State uh, beating West Virginia 34-12. K-State beat UT Martin 41-6. Arizona won 61-39. Cincinnati won 38-20. Iowa State won 21-3. Baylor won 45-3. Uh, another game I was wrong on, uh, UNLV actually beat Houston 27-7. Uh, Tech barely beat Abilene Christian 52-51. Uh, BYU did really well 41-13. Uh, and uh, Arizona State beat Wyoming 48-7. Uh, the only non-conference game I picked was uh, Notre Dame over uh, – I picked A&M, but Notre Dame won 20-13. Uh, um, or was it 27-13? I don't remember. Um, anyway, I was 14-3 and in the first week. Uh, we will get the results video done tomorrow morning because, obviously – there's some games being played on Thursday, Friday night. Uh, big news. I, uh, this is very important. Friday night, my wife and I are going to Dallas. We are going to watch BYU versus UC, um, UCF, <laughs> SMU. Uh, I think this is going to be a really good matchup. I think this is going to be uh, not only that, but we're also going to be able to, to get the inside of uh, the new Gerald Ford Stadium. I want to see everything in its finished, uh, you know, mo as most finished as they got it. Uh, I'm sure there's probably a few things on the inside of that end zone that need to be, fit, you know, tidied up and, and stuff. But I can tell you the last time I was up there, it looked absolutely fantastic. Um, and you got two great quarterbacks uh, in uh, Jake uh, Resloff, or however you pronounce his name, but uh, he – Looked really good in his first game. And then uh, Preston Stone uh, had some struggles, honestly. Uh, but I think he has a lot of raw talent. And uh, if they can coach him well and just help him to learn from his mistakes, I think he'll bounce back. So I'm looking – I honestly think that that game is going to be a shootout. But we'll talk about the results of that tomorrow. So um, – I know uh, Uncle Monty likes to give me a hard time about uh, my respect level for Preston Stone, but he kind of is doing the same thing with uh, Jake Resloff. What's this? I think that's his name. Um, yeah, Retzloff. He's doing the same thing. I mean, I, I don't know. It's just, uh, I get to be the daily punching bag on the Monty show. Um, and some of it I just let roll off my back. I'm not going to respond to everything that, that he says. Um, you know, the proof's in the pudding. I mean, I, I do believe SMU is going to win that game. And uh, you look at an 0 2 Florida State, uh, they're, they're not playing well. And they got to go to Dallas and play at SMU. And I pl guarantee you, if SMU is 3-0 going into that game, that place is going to be rowdy. The place is going to be full. And um, we'll find out. I truly believe with better competition coming into to Dallas, I believe that SMU is going to have more fans there. So we'll see what happens. But it is a Friday night. So, you know, people getting off work late. You know, we'll see what happens as far as the – but win, lose, or draw, uh, <laughs> I am going to do a video from Dallas on Friday for sure. So 
If you are new, please hit like and subscribe. I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for being a part of this community. And I will see you tomorrow.